I wasn't even aware that mental health was an issue. Well, yeah. You know, it's 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 because we think that people who have mental health issues on the broader spectrum uh, are have to be institutionalized. You know, have to be isolated with specialists. Yes. Whereas actually, more so than ever before, thanks to this pandemic, we need to broaden this awareness. It happens to us. I'm so happy to be here. It's so lovely to be with you all. So maybe as you know, I, I'm an actor. Um, so being an actor, you know, you 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 have to go beyond what you see. You have to dive into the study of human behavior. You have to sometimes play characters who are so far from you. You know, so already that's that's a fertile mind. Being sensitive and being vulnerable is part of being an artist. It's it's the process. It's we're exposing our inner shadows that we don't often know how to define, right? And um, unfortunately, uh, two and a half years ago now, my little sister Paulette Wright, who I love so deeply, passed away by suicide. And it has it struck me to the cord um, to see that I was not able to see it. You know, and that was a major, major inner crisis that I had to face alongside my family crisis. So being the eldest, what do we do? <laughs> we dive into what is the why. And, you know, the why has many, many different answers and there is not one answer. But one of the one of the, the, the drives, it gave me a drive um, is to and synchro destiny. You know, synchro destiny is something incredible mm -hmm. because once you, you know, you're, you're you're in your pool, you're in your mud, and then you wake up and you're like, how can I actually change and contribute to giving tools of mental health awareness? I wasn't even aware that mental health was an issue. Well, yeah. You know, it's it's it because we think that people who have mental health issues on the broader spectrum uh, are have to be institutionalized you know have to be isolated with specialists yes. whereas actually more so than ever before thanks to this pandemic we need to broaden this awareness it happens to us It's a very good question, yet again, um, because it, 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 first of all, um, I have developed meditation as something that is, is my number one tool. Um, and when I say meditation, it's, it's, it's really going into the science of listening. Vulnerable doesn't mean that you, 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 you have to um, hide away from it. It's really being kind you know meditation allows you to listen and and really take the thoughts so every morning i wake up i meditate sometimes i use mantras but also i create intentions and i have these four intentions that are important for the day and however they come out is they will come out and manifest the way and the intention is that may i be free from suffering may my loved ones be free from suffering if i have hurt someone I hope that their pain will be submerged in happiness. You know, these are little, little intentions. Then how do you carry yourself through the day? I need a joyful, energetic body. Yes. So I make that intention. I embody a joyful and energetic body. You know, so I create these intentions that are like, you know, inner, inner commitments, you know, and you make these commitments after your meditation because it, it, it embeds it in this this uni this mental space you know we i was speaking about mental space we all have this mental space and it's how do we engage in the mental space sometimes the, how we do not take care of ourselves comes from the fact that we don't engage in the mental space we don't even realize that it exists and then we become swayed by the world's politics all these social geopolitical um, human tragedies that we see constantly 
we will get swayed in. So before we get swayed into our day, that's why the beginning of the day is so important, is to just engage, like you hook onto the mental space. And that mental space is, is the mental hygiene, really. You know, we, we wash our teeth. How do we cleanse our mind? If you close your eyes just for a second and just focus on the breath and just see how all of a sudden your body is more alive than when your eye is open. And so if you, if you start feeling that mental space, that mental space is not only the sensations in your body, but it's the quality of the listening. We're, we're tapping into our sensations, we're going into the space that holds the thoughts, right? And then all of a sudden you open your eyes and there's the world outside of you. There's the world that we call, I would say, you know, the everyday reality. And yet when you close your eyes, you create a deeper listening to the space that is within and around the everyday reality. So that's the first way to connect to your mental space. The sensation of agitation often is, in, is connected to the body. So you will locate it. Generally, agitation comes in this area. You know, your heartbeat is slightly faster, the temperature of your body, you're slightly more hot, you know. So, so when you start to, you know, you close your eyes and you identify where that is, and then you start, you know, expanding, exactly expanding the awareness, it dilutes it, you see. So the, the expanding the awareness of your mental space dilutes the symptoms, the symptoms on, on your body, you know, on your body, in your being of this agitation. The thing where we get attached, which is why it's important, is through storytelling. Mm. So that's why we need to liberate from our stories because if we say that, if I'm giving meaning to this sensation because it occurred from an event, which generally these sensations and irritations and aggravations happens from an event that happened in the past. But the story takes the event on the past and brings it into our body in the present moment. The story meaning my fault, it's my fault that I cause pain or that person did that to me and I feel like this and this is what's happening now and that's what that. So I'm bringing the power of the story. When you emerge minds together, when you emerge different uh, sectors of society, when you merge different um, people who have their techniques, who have their ways of alleviating suffering, you know, whatever it is, to be free from suffering, from a mental space, from a, a physical unwellness, to, you know, to the power of belonging, right? Everyone has something because we are all unique and we are all different forms of the expression of life. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.